everybody, this is UP Rail Fan, and today, um, as promised, we are doing a snowblower video. Um, this is a roughly 1982 snowblower, so Sears Craftsman, uh, three and a half horsepower, 20 inch path. Um, as you can see, this thing is so rusted, um, but it does do the job. We use it every season and every winter we'll use it again this year so this thing sounds great when it starts up this is not quite a cold start um i guess it is um i already did start this just to make sure it actually works as this thing is terrible to start but once it does it it sounds great so on this side um, you can see this thing actually has a key to turn it on and off. Um, this thing did have provisions for electric starter kit, but I don't think that's worth it. And, um, here are the handlebars. We have this is the auger, and then this is the drive control, as you can see. As also you can see, the uh, muffler is rusted up. But uh, so it, it, it's the loudest small engine we have on the property. Uh, other than that, apparently this thing is winterized. Um, I have dragged this through like two or three feet of snow, so it uh, it certainly is to a certain degree waterproof. So or water resistant. It did not die. So. We're gonna now hear the thing start up. All right, everybody. Uh, we are now ready to start this. So I already have tested it, but we're just gonna prime it a bit here. Turn the switch to on. This is weird. Um, it kind of needs to put the choke somewhere in the middle. Now we're gonna try it. Uh, this thing gives off a great smoke show when it starts up, and uh, it sounds almost like a machine gun. So as you can see, it uh, did pretty well. So I looked back later at the video, found that it's kind of hard to see uh, what exhaust it does give out, but it does sound pretty cool. Um, and uh, so to look at it a little more detail, here's the choke control. Um, right now it's currently turned off. Um, as once turned on, you can basically turn it to off. Um, I'm just gonna show you. Uh, just here, the, the auger, auger um, shoot is kind of busted. I can't move it. Um, once uh, once it actually snows, um, I should be uh, uh, the water should lubricate it a bit and it should be able to turn. Um, but also in more detail, here's the build code. This uh, has a Sears Sears Craftsman logo. It just says Sears there. Um, so apparently in the build code, uh, it has the date of uh, date of manufacturing. Um, so I'm gonna say this is probably around a uh, it's a 1980s snowblower. So I'm gonna say around maybe 1983 or so. Um, if there's any more smarter people um, than me that know the exact date. Uh, feel free to comment below as uh, this is just an uh, estimate here but uh, otherwise yeah this is a cool snowblower um, but other than that uh, thanks for watching uh, I know this is a little break from just standard training videos um, I do uh, 
do have a couple of announcements I would like to put out I'm gonna put out a Christmas video hopefully sometime in the near future um, and uh, I have yet to decide what will be in there yet uh, but the song is decided so and it's, it'll be a good song I guarantee you guys that and um, I'm trying to think also I would like feedback on the music I use um, um, for those who watch a lot of my videos, I use a lot of older music. I'd like feedback on how you guys like it. As, um, would you guys prefer I use modern music or just stick with the older stuff? So, um, and I've also found a new new channel on YouTube that does um, parody songs of the real things. And I'll be using a lot of those songs, hopefully, as I don't think they have copyright, but yet they sound like the real thing. So, they still sound good, and I think it'll definitely help background noise. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe and comment below. And we'll see you guys trackside.